a new kind of life, eukaryotes. The simplest forms of life are prokaryotes. There are two types of prokaryotes, archaea and bacteria. Originally, archaea and bacteria were thought to be about the same, but that turned out to not be true. They are very different from one another, including in their DNA sequences and how they live. Together, they represent two of the three domains of life, archaea and bacteria. Prokaryotic cells are simpler cells with no membrane-bound organelles. They are found almost anywhere on Earth. The third domain of life is the one we are more familiar with, because this domain includes all the living things that we can see. The third domain is eukarya, the subject of this chapter. Here are the three domains of life. They all originated from a common ancestor, and we have bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Now here are three different terms. Eukarya is a domain of life. Eukaryotic is a complex type of cell, and a eukaryote is an organism belonging to eukarya and made of eukaryotic cells. Here are the levels of organization. Atoms make up molecules or compounds, which make up organelles, which make up cells, which make up tissue, which make up organs, which make up organ systems, which make up the entire organism. All cells, whether prokaryotic or eukaryotic, have four structures in common. They are surrounded by a cell membrane, they contain a semi-fluid, jelly-like substance called the cytoplasm. They contain chromosomes, which carry the cell's genes, their unique sequence of DNA. And they have ribosomes, which assemble amino acids into proteins. Here are the common cell features between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The cell membrane, DNA, ribosomes, and cytoplasm. Here are the important differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are usually larger than prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells have small compartments inside them called organelles. Eukaryotic cells have a membrane-bound nucleus that houses DNA. Prokaryotes do not have a nucleus. Their DNA is carried on a small circular chromosome in the cytoplasm. Eukaryotic cells can be specialized building blocks of multicellular organisms. A eukaryotic cell can be 10 to 100 times larger than a prokaryote. The nucleus and the mitochondria are examples of organelles. Other organelles are present in the animal cell. The mitochondria in the cell are about the same size as the bacterium shown. There are many types of life in domain eukarya. Eukaryotic life forms are classified into four kingdoms. The first, simplest eukaryotes are classified in Kingdom Protista. They were single-celled, and some of them may have looked like the greatly magnified picture of this organism. The organisms in the plants, fungi, and animal kingdoms evolved next. Fungi include mushrooms, molds, and mildew. Plants vary in type from ancient, simpler mosses to modern, complex flowering plants. Animals range from ancient sponges and hydra to modern insects, birds, fish, and mammals. Here is a sponge, a simple animal. All multicellular organisms are eukaryotes. The tree, cat, and mushroom are all eukaryotes. They consist of eukaryotic cells that are smaller than one cubic millimeter the size of a grain of salt. Though they are the fundamental unit of life, eukaryotic cells are composed of many smaller parts, organelles. Like the organs in your body, each organelle carries out a specific required function, such as transporting waste to the cell membrane and out of the cell, transforming energy in food or glucose into energy cell functions, maintaining the cell structure, and maintaining large biomolecules. Specialization of organelles in eukaryotic cells allowed them to become much larger and more efficient than their prokaryotic precursors. Organelles are built out of molecules that are built from atoms. Organelles work together to carry out all the functions of cellular life. 
Here are the eukaryotic organelles. Nucleus, mitochondria, vacuoles, cell wall, Golgi apparatus, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, lysosomes, and chloroplasts.